If you've been reselling for five minutes, you'll know that finding your items to sell online is one of the most enjoyable tasks of the reselling business. Actually, not one of, it's the funnest part. But in a world where more and more people are learning about the opportunities and enjoyment of making a decent amount of money in this game, sourcing items from traditional hunting grounds like garage sales, thrift stores, and Facebook marketplace have become a lot more competitive. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through three examples of my sourcing secrets that I used just last Saturday to find great items to sell online. Zero competition, crazy amounts of profit. Consider this a sourcing secrets masterclass. Pretty crazy that all of the examples in this video came on the same day. Just last Saturday, I was outsourcing and I put all of these practices into place. And afterwards, I felt like I should make a video about it and hopefully you can do the same thing. So this first one is to ask about what you want. So when you're out at garage sales, even at thrift stores, just tell people what you're looking for and see if they can help you with it. I did this at a garage sale first thing in the morning on Saturday. There was absolutely nothing there and I'd just been to one previously and again, there was nothing there. I got a no asking for DVDs in the first garage sale but then I asked for DVDs in the second garage sale and this happened. No DVDs at all? The, um, oh, I do have DVDs in my, in my cabinet. I never even thought about those. Do you want to have a look at some DVDs? Oh, do you want to have a look through the book? Any DVDs or any video games, anything like that? Oh, don't have any video games. Yeah. I, I didn't even think about those. No. It's good to pick from. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah, that's awesome. So just by asking the question, I've been able to get my hands on about 20 different DVDs to have a bit of a pick through. And the first one I've spied here, Jonathan Creek, the complete series one to five, the box sets are always gonna make me some money. That comp for $45, that's actually my own comp. That sold within two days of purchasing it. You'll later see that I bought all of these DVDs for just a dollar a piece. And I wouldn't have had it otherwise if I didn't ask the question. You'll see here, I've also got um, The Phantom of the Opera. That's a brand new DVD and that's my comp as well, guys. It sold for 1450. I've got 10 here. <laughs> what would you do for those? Oh, I'm just going to 10 bucks How much? 10 bucks, I'm happy. Sure. Done. No That's worries. Done, yeah, perfect. Thanks very much. Appreciate it. No worries. Love that little music bite. Um, guys, the next one is maybe something that's a little bit naughty, maybe something you don't think you should be doing, but I'm doing it pretty regularly and I'm having some pretty good success with it. And that is trying to get myself out the back of the thrift stores. I mean, all the items come in, they get priced up and then they get put onto the shelf and all the competition is out there on the shelf. But if you can be out the back and picking through all the items before anyone else, that is gonna be a huge advantage for you. Now, there's multiple ways that you can do this. I build it up over a series of weeks and build a relationship with the store owners, maybe a particular volunteer. I get to know their name and what they're into and how often, what days they work, things like that. And then I can go in and then strike up a conversation and get myself out the back. And I've done that with a number of different stores and um, they've been really accommodating and uh, I don't get it at a really cheap price. I just get simply access to it, which is half the battle sometimes. The other one though, on Saturday, it was a little bit different. This was a store that I'd never been out the back on, no relationships built with any of the staff, but there was a TV in the storefront and it was just lying there. It needed to be moved, you guessed it, out the back. And I was there to lend a helping hand and I had the camera on. Now this little story starts with Aquatine Hunger Force, the DVD, I've got four seasons here. It can go for upwards of $100 plus if you've got the complete series. So at six bucks a piece, I was still considering it, but before you knew it, the TV scenario took place and I was out the back. Helen was showing me her herb garden and before you knew it, I was then looking at the DVDs and the shoes to pick from. And you, you wouldn't believe it, I've actually found seasons two and seasons four out the back, the two seasons that I was missing. This will now go for a whole lot more money on eBay, all due to the fact I was able to get out the back. The TV show South Park. Oh, there's two. Yeah. There's a few seasons. I think there's 11 seasons there oh, that I've got. You've got those, have you? Mm. Well, thank you for sorting it. It's probably just the price. I won't be able yeah. to grab them, but just. What, what, what price are they? What are they? About $8 each. So to buy the whole lot, it'd almost One, be 100 two, three, mm. What about 50 for the lot? I'll have, a, I'll have a think about that. I'll, I'm going to go grab the other two for this okay. set. I'll, I'll grab these. Okay. I'll have a bit of a think. Thank you. 
So it was really kind of Helen to be offering me a reduced price on those DVDs for South Park and I was actually able to find another season to make that complete with the South Park series but I ended up passing on it and I just took the two DVDs so it wasn't a massive haul that I was able to get but it was able to complete a DVD set and she even gave me some discount. Can you make them Thank you very much. That's no, okay. Appreciate that. <laughs> you helped us. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Any opportunity to get out the back, as soon as I saw them struggling with the TV, I thought, let's just go and give them a hand. And where do you need to take it? Oh, out the back. Do you mind if I have a quick look around? Unbelievable stuff. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to go and pick it up right now and it's an absolute doozy. It's a really good result. Uh, I've ended up paying, or I'm going to pay, if it all checks out to be okay, $80. We've got a Game Boy, uh, we've got a teal coloured Game Boy and it's got its original box as well. And uh, it also, not that I knew, but it's also got a Pokemon Silver uh, game as well. Just a cartridge, I think just a cartridge. It may even have the box as well and if it does, this will blow this deal out of the water because the boxes are worth a lot of money. But the, the reason why I wanted to put this into the video and make it a part of the day for this vlog is that the, the opportunity for this deal only came up because I, I took on a bad ad. It was a really poorly um, worded advertisement. In fact, there was hardly any words to it. Here's a look at it. It was basically just the title was um, uh, a video game game or something. It didn't allude to the console. It just had a photo of the box of the console. There was actually only one photo in the listing and it was just the box of the, of the Game Boy itself no wording uh, or mention of, of a game. Um, I messaged him at 9 a.m. this morning and I was just curious about it. And anyway, it's ended up coming through not until five o'clock this afternoon as he chosen to reply. And uh, I think for all of those reasons, that would have um, put off all of the other potential buyers. Um, and the comps for both the console with the box and if the game's got the box as well, we're talking hundreds of dollars worth of resale value. So it's a fantastic deal, but it's come from a bad listing. And I really do think that a lot of people will run away from the bad listings because they're bad listings. But you can uncover some really good results if you just persist with those and, and ask questions uh, as I did to try and get this deal done. So I'm going to roll around to this uh, location now. I'll turn the camera on and um, then I'll show you it when we get back in the car. Okay. Runa, how are you, mate? Nice one, mate. We are just moving houses. Oh, really? Found this. Yeah, nice. I That's awesome. I got a lot of messages. You got a lot of messages? A lot of messages. Yeah, right. That's perfect. That'll work. I'll do that. And was was there a um a box for the game at all? Do you have the box for the game or no? Yeah. No. No worries. How much with all the all the video games? Um, I'd say thirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thirty dollars only. It's no way. That's How much do you think? Uh, well, I'm happy to pay thirty. I'll do forty if you like. I'll have to check and make sure. I don't really know what's what's in it all, but it's all the games, maybe. Fifty. Do you know if it works or is it just not been played for a while? Um, it, it has been played for a while, but it does, like, the, um, I think we didn't hardly use it, um, right. when we got it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. Just, um, that I don't play it. Don't play it anymore? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, video games I do like and, and TV series as well with the DVDs. Oh, um, cool. But, um, yeah, that, that's a good little collection, so 80 for that and then, yeah, I'll, I'll do 50 for that. Yeah, for sure. Well, guys, that could not have gone any better. What turned into just a Nintendo Game Boy Teal Collect off a bad listing on Facebook Marketplace has turned into a monster box of Nintendo Wii games and consoles. When she said $30, I almost lost myself. To think that we were able to get this in the end for 50 bucks out of nowhere 
there's just a big lesson in there around bad listings on Facebook Marketplace. And then just like you saw at the op shops and at the garage sales today, just simply asking the question, what else do you have? Can I have a look at, you know, out the back when you're in the op shops? I can't believe that all of this has taken place in one day, in one vlog, and I can piece it to you together in what has been just 12 hours worth of sourcing. So I can't wait to go through all of this. I'm going to take it inside and I'm going to have a bit of a look at it now with you and we'll just work out how much we've actually just picked up for what was just a $50 purchase. Plus the Game Boy. Plus we have to even go with that because that's worth about $200. I already know that. So good. So good. I love this game. So I'd only been home for a couple of minutes. I was going through the games and then Bruno sent me a message. He had found the Pokemon Silver original box and it was complete with every single manual. This was an absolute goldmine opportunity, a huge amount of resale value. I knew that I had to go and get it straight away. Oh, Saturday night, hey? This is fun for me. Like This is a fun Saturday night. I don't know if I'm weird, but uh, bouncing around at now 6.30 on a Saturday night, no beers for me. We got the flea markets to get into tomorrow as well. We can't be out having beers. We're making money 24-7. Found it. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Box. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, cool. I'll take that as well. Yeah, cool. Much appreciated. Where do you live? Oh, I'm just over in Burley Waters as well. Oh, cool. Yeah, not too yeah, far. Not too easy. Yeah, Thank sweet, you. mate. See you later. All right, so here it is here, guys. This is, this is money right here. We got the box for Pokemon Silver. And we've got every single manual that came along with it originally. This is huge. So I'm, I'm, I'm really stoked about all of this. We've got the Nintendo Game Boy, the color. We've got the teal color as well, which is even better. Now these Game Boy colors, they go for a lot of money. I'll start with the teal console itself. This one goes for about $130 in pre-owned condition. I've turned it on and it works completely fine. Um, so there it is there. So that's perfect working order. I've tried it with the game, no dramas whatsoever. So that's about 130 bucks, but because we've got the box right here, these boxes alone can sell for $100. So I'm gonna conservatively say that this with the box, I'm thinking about 200 bucks. And then this guy over here, when he called me or messaged me and he said that he's got the box for it as well, I almost jumped out of my skin because this is really up the price of the resale value for this guy right here. The game itself, you can generally get about $80 for Pokemon Silver, which is brilliant but it's this box right here. The box and the game, there are comps that go between $300 and $400, which is just absolute madness. They're very, very hard to find, and they do have all of the manual items in there like I showed you earlier. So it is a complete set, but I don't think, given the quality of this box isn't quite there, there are a few different dents and marks and scratches on this box compared to the comps that I was seeing at three to $400. I think I'm gonna probably get high 200s I'm anticipating. So let's say $300 at most. Uh, yeah, at most, I'm gonna say 300 and 200 for this. So I believe that what you're looking at right here is about $500 worth of resale value. Plus the Wii was about $250. I think it's about $750 that has come out of this Facebook Marketplace pickup and I've only paid $130. So there you go, not too bad, hey? That was the story of how I was able to turn $170 worth of purchasing from ultimately bad opportunities initially into what will be over $1,000 worth of resale value on eBay. A whole heap of fun, a huge sourcing day, really built out of nothing, just using my secret sourcing methods Hopefully you can put a few of them into practice yourself because that is what this video is about. I'm here to help guys and hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, if you're still here watching now, welcome. You're officially a part of the 30% club. The guys that stick around to the end of the video, I don't have any special um, announcements for you guys, which I usually try and do, but I just wanted to say thanks for being here. Hit the like button for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and uh, I'll catch you on Thursday for a trip to the thrift. See you guys.